The Safe Banking Act has been proposed each of the last three sessions of Congress, and always had bipartisan support, but never made it out of the Senate. Advocates are hoping this can be the year that changes. The Safe Banking Act had its first hearing in a Senate committee last week. The bill would prevent federal banking regulators from taking action against banks or credit unions that work with marijuana businesses, if those businesses are licensed and following the law in their states. For the last two sessions, Montana Senator Steve Daines has been the lead Republican sponsor of the bill. He said he's heard from local leaders in Montana, concerned about safety risks when a business is so reliant on cash. He's optimistic the Safe Banking Act can draw strong support this year. I don't support the, uh, the legalization of cannabis personally. Montanans voted that in, though, overwhelmingly in the last election. This is really dealing with... Uh, with what do we do now about the public safety issues. When you have an all-cash business, it creates a lot more crime. And so putting that cash in the bank is one way to take some of that crime off the street. That's an appealing argument for many Republicans. And we've done a few things here, tightening up the bill that uh, ensures uh, that that happens. And I think we're going to see more support for it going forward. Democratic Senator John Tester has been a co-sponsor of the Safe Banking Act since 2019. In a statement, he said the current laws opened the door to tax evasion and safety issues and created barriers for businesses. As a third-generation Montana farmer, I know how important it is for small businesses in rural America to have access to capital. Our bipartisan Safe Banking Act is a common-sense fix that allows legally operated Montana small businesses to access the financial services that they need to thrive. And it makes our community safer by cutting down on cash-motivated crimes. I'm proud to be a leader on this bipartisan bill, and I'm looking forward to getting it across the finish line. In 2021, supporters of the Safe Banking Act tried to get it added to a must-pass defense funding act at the end of the year, but that effort fell short. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.